In today's video, I will be giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can remap your BMW at home using BM3 or Boot Mod 3, as some of you guys may know it. We'll be using my M140i as a test mule as we put a stage one map onto the car, but I'll run through everything you need to be able to do it, a step-by-step -step guide on how long it takes, what equipment you need, what additional functionality there is, and what makes BM3 so special. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you've just heard from that little bit of an intro there, we're going to be taking a look at BM3 and giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can remap your BMW at home. Now BM3 is a mobile mapping software that you can use to remap any of the F or G series BMWs. So regardless of whether you have an M140, an M2, a 240, an M3, an M4 or whatever BMW you've got, you will be able to remap your car. I will get into the nitty gritty of what we need to be able to start this process, but first First and foremost, if you do find this video helpful, please support the channel by liking the video, subscribing to it, and let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. I would also like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Bolton Mods. BoltonMods.co.uk are a leading online performance retailer providing parts and services for BMW, Volkswagen, Seat and Audi. They cater for everything from the M135i to the X6M and everything in between. You can find popular tuning software such as the BM3 and JB4 platforms, alongside fantastic products such as charge pipes, down pipes, exhausts, and even custom tunes from the likes of Jordan Tuned. They even have a fresh stock of the Dorch high pressure fuel pump upgrades for the N55 and B58 models, allowing you to push the limits of your car even further. Be sure to check out their website, you can find a link down in the description below, and when you order, put JJB in the special notes of your purchase to let them know you came from this video. So before we go outside and start the process of remapping the vehicle, there are three different ways that you can use to apply this software. The first option is the option which I've gone for personally, which includes a laptop and also an OBD to RJ45 connector. Now if you're anything like me, my laptop doesn't have an Ethernet port, so I've also bought an Anker RJ45 or Ethernet connection into USB. You'll find all the links that you need to be able to buy this down in the description. So the second and third options both include the use of the OBD to the RJ45 connector but this time instead of it connecting to a laptop it connects to their OBD agent. Now from this point you've got two different ways that you can connect your phone up to it either by Wi-Fi or by your charging cable into your phone. Now from this point you can then use the software that BM3 provide but the OBD agent is a slight additional cost over and above what I'm using today. So I'm going to head out to the car now while I run through the step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can remap your BMW at home. So as you can see we are currently in the car I've got the laptop currently on my lap funnily enough but we're going to start the guide from the very very beginning for the sake of completeness so firstly you actually need to buy a license for this software now I bought mine from bolt on mods Shaq and Simon over there are incredibly knowledgeable about all things BM3 Shaq has a BM3 tuned M2 himself so if there's anybody that I wanted to use to actually get this software it would be them because they can offer you oodles and oodles of support once you have bought a license the activation key is emailed to you which I have open in front of me here so the next step Step is to make sure you've got all the relevant hardware so I've got a laptop in front of me here and because my laptop doesn't have an Ethernet cable I've got one of these which is an anchor RJ45 to USB connector alongside the OBD to Ethernet cable that you need to buy anyway if you are planning on using the OBD agent then make sure you bring your phone charger out with you to the car or if you're planning to use Wi-Fi make sure that your phone is fully charged the last thing you'd want is to be halfway through mapping your car via Wi-Fi and then your phone to die now there tends to be a lot of questions around what operating systems you can use to be able to do this i'm currently using a windows pc but bm3 is available for mac ios and android if you plan to do it on the mobile side so you can pretty much use it on anything barring linux but i don't think many people use linux anyway so if you have anything that's windows or mac based if you're planning on using a laptop or if you have anything that's ios or android based if you're planning to use a tablet or a phone then you will be good to go one quick note from me which is actually a slight oversight from my part is that the recommended brand browser is Google Chrome. Now I use that normally, a lot of people use Internet Explorer, but if you do plan to do it on Windows, download Chrome and do it through that. The next step is to actually connect your car to your computer or your phone using the OBD device. So I'm just going to move my laptop off of my lap here so I can get this sorted and then I'll plug it into the laptop. So with the OBD connector connected to my laptop, you now want to disable the firewall on your Windows system to ensure that it doesn't interrupt with any of the flashing processes. So that's what I'm about to do now if I can remember how to do it properly. If you go to the search bar down at the bottom and just search for Windows Firewall 
and then click OK. It should bring you through to the Windows Defender Firewall system. On the left hand side, just near the subsections, you have the option here to turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. So I click on that and then I need to turn off Windows Defender Firewall and turn, turn it off for the public settings as well, just to be on the safe side. Click OK and then we can move on to the next step. By the way, if you are planning on using a Mac device, if you go to System Preferences, Firewall, and then you can turn the firewall off from there. So before we download the actual software to remap the car, what we need to do is to be able to create an account. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sign up using my JJB YouTube email address, create a very strong password because you don't want anybody to be able to get into this. And from that point, you'll then receive an email asking to verify your account. Now to verify your account, it's as simple as clicking onto the email, which I'm doing now, and then click verify, which is just down at the bottom of the page. It'll bring you back onto the Bootmod 3 website and then say that your account is verified. Now what you need to do after that point is make sure you download the latest software. You can get the latest software from www.bootmod3.net slash downloads i'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to follow that but that's what i need to do right now so once you've downloaded the bm3 software you'll have a screen that looks a little bit like this and sorry if the visibility is quite bad there's an anti-glare screen on the laptop here but what you need to see is agent obd connection is up which means that it is connected and then we need to go to the bootmon 3 website in order to register the vehicle so to register the vehicle we need to go to www.bootmod3.net in order to be able to activate the vehicle from there so once you load up the bootmod3.net website it will come up and say that there are no registered vehicles in your account don't worry about that when you bought the license there will be an activation key in that email so copy that activation key go back to the website and where it has your vin number and where it says obd connected and not registered click on that and it will bring you through to vehicle activation so we've just clicked on activate it's coming up saying loading we are going to do this in real time because i want you guys to know how long it actually takes to do it now all in all it takes around 15 to 20 minutes on the first map and that's because it's got to unlock your dme create a backup of the original map that's on the car at the moment and then maps after that so if you want to change to stage two or if you wanted to make some alterations to the back office side of things it will only take a couple of minutes at the most now good news the activation key has worked i'd be very surprised if it didn't but the new vehicle has been successfully registered and activated in my account i can now go ahead and choose a map from the ots map screen and flash it so now it's the exciting time now is the time we're going to be remapping the vehicle in a few minutes now i'm not going to sit here and get you guys to watch through the progress bar of everything going forward but i will keep a note of the time before we start the remap and then we'll revisit it at the end to see how long it's taken so once you've activated the vehicle you will get a message saying that the car has been activated it will take you back to the vehicle section of the screen and then the next step is to click on the menu in the top left corner and i'll put an overlay on the screen here because this is quite nifty and this is where you can see your dashboard your data logs any diagnostics you can see the obd agent which we spoke about earlier on you can see your personal maps ots maps which is what we're going to be using today you can request a tune from ptf so ptf is pro tuning freaks the people who make bm3 now if you wanted to get a little bit more out of your car maybe you think there's a little bit extra to have in it then what you need to do is to do some diagnostics via the software on here send that over to ptf and then what they'll do is they'll make a couple of adjustments on their side they'll send it back to your account which you'll find on here and then you can reflash a car through that it is as simple as that now i've never done anything like this in the past and remapping a car on your driveway is quite alien to me and i'm doing it as we are so i've literally got the packages through with my wires probably half an hour or so ago now i've got everything set up in terms of the cameras these cameras that you're looking at me on now i've plugged the car in for the very first time and we are remapping it this is not something i've done before it has gone incredibly smooth so far and i think the next step is just to remap the car and then we'll see where we go from there so once you click on to the ots map section of the website this screen will come up in front of you here and as you can see here we've got a load of different options with regards to the off-the-shelf maps so the first one on here is the M Performance Package Factory Tune Free Map. This is useful for learning the basic steps in tuning. We're not going to be using that today. So the next map that we have access to is the Stage 1 91 Octane. Now the 91 Octane in the US is 95 Octane here in the UK. We're not going to be using that today because within 2 mile radius of my house, I've got a load of shell garages that I get 99 run from. Now if you are living somewhere a little more remote where there's maybe not the performance fuel that you want, then you can use this map and it's not going to cause any 
issues whatsoever. So the next map that we have in this list is the Stage 1 93 Octane, which we're going to be using today. Now, 93 Octane in the US is 98 Ron here in the UK, and it says here that we've got boost and load control changes. There's a sport display recalibration. So when you go into the sport display on your BMW, it won't come up with the stock figures. It will come up with the remapped figures, and it will also have smoother boost control as well. So before we actually click on the Stage 1 map and apply this to my car, I'm just going to scroll down the page here to let you guys know exactly what options we've got here. So we've got Stage 1 E30. So if you're using an ethanol mix, you can use BM3 to remap your car with that. The Stage 291 and Stage 293. And if you scroll down the page even more, we've got an ethanol map for the Stage 2. We've got a Stage 2 Plus. So if you're putting the upgraded fuel pump from the Supra or from the B48 Mini onto your B58 engine, then you can also map for that as well. Now that's actually quite interesting because if you upgrade the fuel pump on the B58, you can actually push this car to around 500 brake horsepower. Now, Bolton Mods have just bought a huge shipment of the B58 fuel pumps, and they've also got them from the N55 fuel pumps. So if you have got an N55, you'll know that the limitation is a fuel pump once you get to around 420 brake horsepower. Bolton Mods will have stock of the N55 fuel pump in order for you to push that even further. So the last map that we have on this list is a Stage 2 Plus E30. So if you wanted to go balls to the wall with a Stage 2 car, get the fuel pump, get an ethanol mix in there, and then you've got the map on the BM3 to be able to use it. But that's going to be way in the future for me. So what we're going to do, scroll back up the page, click on Stage 1 93 Octane, and then what we're going to do is click Get Tune. Now when you click on Get Tune, it asks you if you are sure if you want to acquire this map. So I'm going to click yes, and then it said it's going to add it to my maps now, so it's just loading it as we speak. So this is the exciting time. We're on the my map section of the website, which you can get to by clicking menu. On the left hand side, you've got my maps. Now, just here, you see the stage 193 auction tune that we've got here. We're going to map this onto the car now, but before we do, let's just check the time. So it's 16.04 by the time we're just before we're about to map the car. So we we'll click on this, click on flash. Make sure the car is connected to the OBD. Click here to flash now. Click flash there. So it's downloading the file right now. So what I'll do, I'll come back to you guys once we've finished. I'll tell you how long it's taken and then we'll run through the steps again. So we are still seven minutes past four. The car is 92% completed. That means it's only taken three minutes to get to this point. If this isn't efficient and if this isn't easy to do, then I do not know what is so the software is now finishing up the map it says here flash successful backing up dme which means it's backing up your original settings and you can probably hear now it's all going off inside of the car so it's clearing all the codes in the ecus it's just making sure that we've got a clean surface to work from and as i just said that it's now done success so the stage one 93 octane has been flashed successfully please wait five seconds and then start the car so i'm going to click okay i'm going to put my foot on the brake I mean, I don't know what I'm expecting. I know it's not going to be drastically different, but the car's mapped. The car works. It's all good. I've not bricked my ECU. The process was incredibly simple. And from the point of me coming out to the car, barring actually setting up my cameras and making sure I had all the information that I needed, it only took a maximum of 10 minutes. And I just want to say a huge thank you to the guys over at Bolt on Mods, not only for sponsoring this video, but also giving me all the technical advice and all of the information that I could possibly need. They helped me pick the map out, which I've actually put onto the car today. We've also talked about future proofing. We've talked about different plans for the future, where we can go with the BM3 with regards to hardware, custom tunes and all that sort of stuff and if you are thinking about purchasing one from bolt on mods be sure to check the link down in the description if you do purchase one put jjb in the notes of the purchase just to let them know that your purchases come from this video if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me on social media you'll find that at the bottom of the screen here as always thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed it please like the video subscribe to the channel and until next time i'll see you guys then